Hello, good morning, friends. Welcome back to your favorite channel, Code One Digest. Today, in this video, I'll explain what is behavioral design pattern and where to use behavioral design pattern in our project. I'll also show the Java code implementation of behavioral design pattern. At the end, we'll discuss the benefits of behavioral design patterns. Friends, in the previous video, we discussed about proxy design pattern. Can you explain what is proxy design pattern? and where to use it please reply your answer in the comment section if you have not seen the previous video so i recommend you to go and see the video the video link is given on your screen and also provided in the description section just to recall the proxy design pattern proxy design pattern provides a simple object to access the complex object this is to avoid the need of creating an expensive objects so for more information, please see the previous video. Friends, before we proceed in this video, I want you to subscribe my channel to grow Code One Digest family. Friends, I'm creating a lot of quality contents for you, but I'm not getting subscribers. I want you to like, share and subscribe my channel so that I can grow Code One Digest family. Thank you. Okay, let's start with the behavioral design pattern. Behavioral design pattern focuses on the interaction between the cooperating objects. Behavioral design patterns are concerned with the interaction and responsibility of objects. Behavioral patterns only concern about the communication between the objects. The interaction between the object should be in such a way that they can talk to each other easily and should be loosely coupled. That means the implementation and the client should be loosely coupled to avoid any hard coding or dependencies. The interaction between the cooperating object are loosely coupled and the loose coupling is the key to the entire architecture. Friends, there are 11 different types of behavioral design pattern and we will discuss all these patterns in coming videos. So let's give a quick glance to all these design patterns. First is mediator design pattern that simplifies the communication between the classes. Second is memento that captures and restore an object internal state. Third is interpreter, a way to include language element in a program. Fourth is iterator, that is to sequentially access an element from a collection. Fifth is chain of responsibility where it provides a way of passing a request between a chain of objects. Sixth is command design pattern that encapsulate a command request as an object. Seventh is a state design pattern. In this design pattern, an object alters its behavior when its internal state changes. Eighth is a strategy design pattern where we encapsulate an algorithm inside a class. Ninth is observer design pattern. It provides a way of notifying a change to number of classes. Tenth is template design pattern that defer the exact steps of algorithm to its subclass. And 11th is visitor design pattern that defines a new operation to a class without any change. We'll see all these design patterns in details in coming video with the Java code implementation. So friends, the very first question is strike to our mind, where to use behavioral design pattern? So, these patterns are very useful in many modern systems wherever we are sending or receiving messages. So there may be multiple protocols which uses these behavioral design patterns for interaction, for communication. These patterns are used in client server communication and also in event buses and in integration layers, middleware and so on. These patterns are used for iterating the data structures and so on. So this is very useful design patterns where the objects are involved and interacting with each other, how they're communicating with each other, transferring the information from one object to other object. So there are various ways to do it. And we'll see all of those methods in coming videos when we discuss all these patterns in detail. 
so friends what are the advantages of behavioral design patterns that we get so this pattern increases the flexibility in carrying out communication these patterns makes your code more flexible reusable and maintainable this pattern reduces subclassing and this pattern reduces the dependencies between the objects and establish a loose coupling friends you will wonder how to remember the name of all 11 behavioral design patterns right you don't worry i'll teach you a trick to remember all these design patterns so the trick to remember all behavioral design pattern is this phrase two mics on tv if you remember this phrase you will be able to recall all the behavioral design patterns like two mics on tv so m for mediator then m for memento i for interpreter i for iterator c for chain of responsibility c for command s for state s for strategy o for observer t for template and v for visitor isn't easy to remember just remember this phrase and you can recall all the behavioral design patterns right okay friends now it's time for me to summarize what we learned in this video so we understood what is behavioral design patterns we saw where to use behavioral design patterns we saw the different types of behavioral design patterns though we are going to discuss all those behavioral design pattern in detail in the coming video we also discuss the benefits of behavioral design pattern and at the end we also learn the trick to remember behavioral design pattern friends let me know if you are already using this behavioral design pattern in your project or you have seen a scenario where this pattern can be very useful please reply your answer in the comment section of this video thank you friends in the next video we will cover our first behavioral design pattern that is mediator design pattern we will learn what is mediator design pattern we will see the usage of mediator design pattern and we will see a java implementation of mediator design pattern we'll also understand the benefits of mediator design pattern in that video so stay tuned for the next video and please subscribe to this channel to grow my code one digest family friends i request you to subscribe our channel code one digest for the latest programming and technology related videos i am putting lots of effort in creating this contents so please help me in growing the code one digest family if you like this video so give it a thumbs up if you are new to the channel so please subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos also click on the bell icon for the latest video notifications so that you don't miss out any of our video do not forget to share these videos with all your friends this is very useful information for the students beginners and software engineers thank you